traders, are you afraid which way the market is going to go next week? Well, just in time, let's jump into this week's session of Trade Your Way to Freedom. Let's see what the heck those indexes are going to do. Let's go ahead and jump into our analysis of ET of our uh, indexes. Uh, first up will be the S&P. The S&P. You'll notice this on several of the indexes we take a look at today. The indexes that we're going to be taking a look at today, of course, are the Spiders, the S&P, the Russell, and the, the NASDAQ. We talked about this a little bit last week, and it's very interesting. We had a huge rally to close off the year. Some people say we had a crappy Santa Claus rally, and also that the last week of December and the first week of January can be predictive of a either strong or weak market going forward. Based on that, the initial analysis is that 2024 could be a challenging year. At the same time, though, we have to trade the charts in front of us. One of the things I find that's very interesting is, as you notice here, we came and made a new high, pulled back to uh, basically start the new year. And then we're rallying. This rally attempt here did take out the old high. At the same time, though, look what's going on with the momentum on the daily chart. Lower high, so I have negative divergence on my momentum on the TSI. Have a little bit of negative momentum on my market forecast. My weekly TSI momentum indicator is struggling. It's at the overbought condition and may look like it won't be uh, dropping down from there. We'll see. With that said, though, I'm getting a nice little bullish engulfing pattern for the week as prices have taken back up. Note, though, on the spiders at least, look at the declining volume. So if I were to rate this index right now, I would give it about a C with the projection of going higher or lower. We may get a, a bunch of wobbling here until the Fed meets on the 31st of the month. And that may be the first inclination that would uh, tell us whether or not they're gonna lower rates or not going forward. So what I'm seeing is I really don't have any trades here. I would entertain a trade down here at this last sport. I would entertain a going short trade, uh, utilizing the leverage inverse ETF on spiders up at the highs here. So that's what I've got going on with the, the spiders. What about our friend, the Russell? The Russell it just really had a huge negative reaction to the inflation report yesterday. We had a significant sell-off. It is attempting to rally. However, it is it's carrying the cloud of, well, what happens if the Fed doesn't ra in decrease rates? If the Fed doesn't decrease rates, then the small caps are typically always going to get beat up because it costs them more to do business because the rates are higher. One of the things that's interesting, a sidebar really quick, is a friend of mine who's a realtor in California, she was indicating that the interest rates for buying a new house was like eight plus percent in October, but now it's dropped down to less than 7%. It's down to about six and a half percent. So that could cause some interesting stuff to go on in the market also, and also in the housing market. So there's a couple of ways we can interpret what's going on with the Russell really quick is we've come down into a past level of resistance, which has now become a zone of support. Stopped at the bottom of it, put in a hammer yesterday, and tried to rally today, but the rally currently is failing. Popped above the 8- the and 20-day moving average, and now is basically selling back off. Watch for strength going into the end of the day. If it closes back above the 20 and the 8-day moving average, that could be a positive sign going into next week. I would like to see a little bit further rally back up here towards the past highs. But if that fails, let's say we rally back up into this area and it fails, I would be looking at the potential of, if the rally attempt fails, doing the, the uh, TZA, the leverage ETF, to the downside on IWM. Um, interesting how we had a shooting star followed by a big candle making this kind of an evening star 
uh, kind of formation on the weekly charts. TSI has rolled over, and we had what I call a bearish fake out on the uh, TSI here. Look like we were going to curve up and break through like the, the rest of the indexes did. But notice we had a squeeze, but now it's turning back down to the uh, downside. But price action isn't falling below that low right there. So that's a key point for the Russell to keep in mind. Hey, if you're finding today's uh, session valuable and you're ready to take charge of your trading journey, hit the su that subscribe button and share the links to the YouTube channel or share autopilot trading with a trading friend of yours. Come join our community of traders because we really do it. We try to treat it like a family and because uh, I want to help as many people as I possibly can reach financial and lifestyle uh, freedom. And I know that if you're here today, you've got what it takes to continue on from here. The NASDAQ, what about the NASDAQ? The NASDAQ continues to be our strongest of the, the indexes. However, it also is operating within a very tight range where here is the support resistance zone that it broke out of. It came down, hit a 50% retracement, and then rebounded off of that earlier in the week. It looks the most positive of the indexes. However, it has, it, in order to uh, basically take back off on the uptrend, it needs to break out of that high right there. I would look at a couple of different approaches on trading the NASDAQ. I would look at trading TQQ, and I have to, just to let you know that Autopilot Trading Premium members, we are in TQQ. We got into it about at the, right there. It says the one, the 4782 level. So right in that area right there. And it has moved on up. So if we did get a pullback back in between the 8 and the 20, that could be an opportunity to add to the position. Or on the flip side of that, if prices move all the way back up to the high in the NASDAQ or the Qs, Look for SQQ to retest all the way back down to its low. And in reality, on the longer term, this is given it the SQQ has given us a much better picture of our potential to move to the upside. One could look at nibbling a little bit right here, or or if it does break out and gets back above the 20, that would be a good buy signal to then wait for a trigger on SQQ. Anil, so what's your thoughts on the uh, indexes? Now I'm looking at the triple screen charts and the weeklies are still holding good, real good on both uh, QQQ and SPY. And so I'm optimistic. Now, do you trade one of the indexes or the ETFs on the indexes? Uh, is one of them a favorite of yours? I know I have my favorite. Do you have a, a one that you would prefer trading? I, I go with TQQ. Yeah, me too. Well, TQQ, because it's outperformed over the last 12 years, all the other leverage ETFs. But on the other side of that is I also to trade TNA because mm -hmm. its performance is, is not quite up to TQQ, but it still has some outstanding opportunities. Again, really great year last year, a little bit of wobbly start to 2004. But as you can see with that, what we have done a really great job. You can see the yellow line here just slightly. We're already starting to track up our projected goal for our return for 2024. And we had some really great stock picks this week that we were able to jump in on. And, and so we are up for the year right now at about 2.45%. I just want you to remember that trading success isn't built overnight. It's built by a step-by-step process. That's what we're always in the process of uh, when we are building our section. Did you know that traders who journal have a higher probability of success? And this tool is, is a brand new tool that we just launched over on Amazon is the Autopilot Trading Journal. And it's your roadmap to discipline trading because it has all my rules and all the autopilot stuff on the inside plus a really great opportunity to set up a journal to help you track, analyze, and refine your strategies. And if you've already gotten one of these and, and enjoy using it, please leave a review over there on the Amazon. I just want to remind everybody, remember, the key to overcoming inconsistent trading 
results lie in both education, discipline. So strengthen your trading muscles. Again, remember, you're in control and we're here to support you in every step you want to take. So trade smart, stay focused and make 2024 your year of trading triumph. Just a reminder that all the materials we do present are for training purposes. Traders should always pay for trade any new method prior to the risk of their own personal capital. And past performance is not an indication or a promise of future performance.